Chapter 41 Once outside, Skippy and Sis ran into Toby, who was coming from the other direction. They quickly told him of their mission. He wanted to join up, of course, and together the three of them ran down the road towards the abbey. Skippy was nervous, but also excited. It felt like a real-life adventure at last. Robin had done so much for him and his family. Now he had a chance to return the fa favor. Why, maybe he'd even become a hero. I hope we meet some bad guys on the way, he declared. I'll get them with my bow and arrow. He held up both in, in his paws, giving what he hoped looked like a menacing glare. Yeah, right, you couldn't hit a target three meters wide and three meters tall, Sis teased. Skippy shot her in an annoyed look. I've been practicing, he protested. I'm much better now. Sure you are, Sis stuck out her tongue. Toby giggled and Skippy shot him a dirty look. He'd show them all after their mission, of course. They arrived at the abbey a few minutes later, pushing through the front double doors and making their way inside. Friar Tuck, cried Skippy. Are you here? We've got to tell you something. But there was no answer. He glanced at Sis and Toby, a little worried. Where is he? He asked. He should be here. Suddenly, they heard a small squeaking sound. Looking down, they spotted two little church mice, wrink wriggling their whiskers in dismay. The friar's not here, they told Skippy. He's been arrested. Arrested? Skippy cried. How can they arrest him? He refused to give the crown any money from the church, the mice explained. I think they're suspicious he's been getting donations from Robin Hood. Skippy squeezed his paw into a fist, annoyed. Well, how are we going to get word to Robin then, he asked. My mother wants us to tell him something very important. The two mice looked at each other. You could go yourselves, one suggested. And while you're there, you could tell Robin what's happening to the friar. Maybe he can help somehow. Skippy glanced at his sister and Toby, excited beyond belief. Another quest. This one possibly actually dangerous. He couldn't believe his luck. Leave it to us, he cried, pounding his chest with his paw. We'll tell Robin. But how will we find him? asked Toby, being stubbornly practical as always. We don't know where he is. No one does. Oh, right. Skippy's enthusiasm deflated a little, but the mice nodded. That we can help with, said one mouse. She beckoned for them to follow her down the church aisle and to the altar at the front. There she turned a small crank that opened a small drawer. Inside was a folded piece of paper. Skippy drew in a breath. He reached down, picked it up, and opened it with shaky paws. It was a map. Does this lead to Robin's camp? He asked, eyes wide. Yes, said the other mouse. We dare not go ourselves. We're too small, and it would take too long. Plus, there are many dangers in the forest for mice. They gave nervous laughs. Skippy was pretty sure there were dangers in the forest for rabbits, too. But he wasn't afraid. Even if he was, he wasn't about to let that fear stop him from his quest. Toby, however, wasn't quite as convinced. Go into Sherwood Forest, he whispered. By ourselves? But it's haunted. He dipped his head in a little farther into his shell. Skippy rolled his eyes. We have no choice, he scolded his friend, pushing down his own fears. Robin needs us, and there's no one else. Sis grabbed the map. Let's do it, she said. Robin would do it for us, right? She put out her paw. Skippy placed his own on top of it. Toby hesitated for a moment, then joined them. All right, he said. Let's go get Robin Hood. Thank you, the first church mouse said, bowing. And please hurry. We don't know what they plan to do to our friar. Leave it to us, Skippy said. We have it all under control. They headed out of the abbey. Skippy handed the map to Toby and reached behind his back to grab his bow and spare arrow, just in case he needed to use it. As they walked to the edge of the forest, a wave of excitement rose inside of him. This was it, a real adventure at last. Why, they would be... Suddenly, something big and burly leapt into their path. Skippy looked up, way up, and gasped. It was the sheriff. Now, now, the sheriff said, 
his mouth curling into a wolfish grin. Where do you think you're going?